Bill Gates said, I will always choose a lazy person to do a difficult job, because a lazy person will find an easy way to do it. What's a real-life example of this? Me. I automate shit all the time at work to make daily routine jobs more easy. I write manuals with screenshots with arrows indicating where to click or where to fill and what. Whenever I write a manual, I assume that whoever reads it is a complete idiot so that whenever customers call for the same questions again, I just send them to the online manual I created. No need to type it out again by email or explain it again by phone. Years ago as a student I got a job stocking shelves. Guys were carrying the heavy boxes, put them on the floor, and bend each time to pick up the items to put on the shelves. I was maybe a light 100 pounds, woman and carrying the boxes was just killing me physically. So one day I had an idea. I put the box on an old desk chair and rolled it around. No more carrying and no more bending. Funny thing is that, instead of doing the same thing, most of the guys called me lazy and kept carrying the heavy boxes. Just to prove how strong they were. Now, they have special rolling carts to do the job. Wow that's ridiculous. A waist-high utility cart is like the number one ergonomics requirement for moving anything at an indoor job site. The entire miscellaneous kitchen tools section at bed, bath, and beyond. I don't need an avocado slicer, or a lemon squeezer, or an automatic chopper slash dicer, but lazy old me definitely puts them to good use. I was working as a stock boy in a supermarket, and when we had to fill the milk cooler people would bust open a 12-pack of milk cartons and put them in one by one. On my first day I just placed the 12-pack in the cooler and cut the plastic off on one side with my box cutter and yanked it from under it, and the look of the store manager and the other employee who was training me was pure bewilderment. From that day everyone did it my way. I did this during the start of the pandemic with paper towels on an empty shelf, thanks COVID panic buyers. Instead of opening the box of single roll paper towels and placing them on the shelf, I just cut off the bottom of the box and slid the rolls right out. Start of lockdown, my nine-year-old son was having worksheets emailed to complete at home. One day, left him at the laptop doing his maths while I made some dinner with my three-year-old daughter. Walked into the living room with his dinner to find him asking the Alexa all of his maths questions. Worked as a laborer at a nursery one summer. Daily tasks included manually watering 15,000 plants each day. Put together a back of the napkin plan to build an irrigation system and spent the next few weeks building it with some money from the boss. That system is still running 15 years later and does all the work now. I did automate myself out of the job and had to find another eventually. Couple years later got my engineering degree. I'm convinced engineers are inherently lazy people that will spend a disproportionate effort to make things easier. My brother-in-law spent a whole summer trying to figure out how to fix his sagging deck at the lake which he could in theory crawl under and jack it up. It would have been a tunneling project. It's a 60x60 area all long 2x6 boards. Massive. I sat there long enough with enough beers in me to come up with the idea of just cutting a square out of the sagging area, about 3 feet x 3 feet, jacking it up then re-screwing down the boards. He paints the thing every spring with a roller anyhow so it's not like the square cut shows up. He thought I was a genius. I was just lazy. I had a math teacher that actively encouraged his students to be as lazy as possible, defining lazy as actively searching for ways to do as minimal work as possible. His logic was that, the way math is now, it could always be simplified and still work the same, someone just needs to be lazy enough to find that. The clerk was asked to bring 145 white papers into the office. He doesn't want to count the papers manually so he printed 145 blank sheets and took them in. It took me like three months, but I automated a data pipeline to extract data, clean it up, and spit it out in an Excel or PDF format to one of our clients. 
I walked over to shoot the shit with the lady who handles my client and gives me tasks and she told me we make 40k off them every month for that automated job. Fuck, I need to go start my own business. When Carl Friedrich Gauss, the famous German mathematician and physicist was in elementary school, around 1784, his class was assigned the busy work task of adding all the numbers from 1 to 100, 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4, and so on. This usually kept the class quiet for half an hour or so. Seven-year-old Carl was sitting quietly with the correct answer, 50-50, while the rest of the class was just starting, so the surprised teacher asked him how he came up with the solution. He replied that he added 1 and 100 and got 101. Then he added 2 and 99 and got 101, 3 plus 98 is equal to 101, and so on. He realized there was a pattern of 50 pairs of numbers with each pair adding up to 101. And 50 times 101 is equal to 5050. If I need directions I'm not asking a man with one tooth, I'm asking a man with one leg. Cause he definitely knows the easiest way to get there. Yup, if there's a shortcut that one-legged fucker knows where it is. You won't be hopping fences neither. I plug clocks in at midnight so they're already set. Trip the main fuse in the house at midnight to do all the appliances too. Eating dinner out of the pot so there's fewer dishes to wash. I worked goods in foreign aircraft manufacturer as a summer job at university. Parts would arrive, we'd open them and key in all the details into a terminal. That bit was long-winded. I discovered the terminal keyboard has assignable shortcuts and set up a bunch of them for all the boilerplates such that keying in an item was about six keystrokes. Saved myself and my workmate hours every day, which we would spend pranking each other, other warehouse staff and staff at other sites. I was invited to my friend's yearly apple picking, it was a full day of apples and kids and filling a truck for cider. I'm lazy and suggested we make the process more efficient with tarps on the ground. We managed in two hours what historically took all day. We didn't even get to the picnic lunch. Essentially, I ruined apple picking. Walkie talkies. In every job I've ever had these things make your day far less labor intensive if used correctly. In Australia explorers discovered a mountain that was taller than MT Kosciuszko, which was though to be the tallest mountain in Australia. Rather than cause confusion by telling everyone a new tallest mountain had been found, they simply named the new mountain MT Kosciuszko and renamed the original to something else. 